I'm confused how he's homeless, but he has a working cell phone. Uh, wait a minute. You're confused how a home can cost more than a phone? Is this your first day on Earth? Bitch was born 24 hours ago. Cut him some slack. How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to MK. I'm your host, Robin. I don't really have anything to say about myself this time, and today we're going to be taking a look at r slash murdered by words. I love this one, let me tell you. I'm excited. Let's get right in there. Know how to find an atheist? They'll tell you. Yeah, those atheists wearing their atheist necklaces and atheist earrings and building gigantic atheist monuments and congregating to yell out loud how much they love atheism and going around the world to different countries to tell people they should be <gasps> atheist and making sculptures of the first atheist and painting pictures of the first atheist and screaming to random strangers how they love atheism. Yeah, it's atheists who do that. I think we found him. Should people with learning disabilities be allowed to work for less than the minimum wage? Debate on BBC Live at 10 a.m. Alternate phrasing of this question. Should employers be allowed to exploit some of society's most vulnerable people? <laughs> minimum wage is already a joke and they're seriously considering paying others less? Are you kidding me? I agree with you 100%. This cancel culture crap is BS. Bring Chris back or you will lose your f fans? Why'd you put that in quotations? Here's you trying to cancel someone last month. Can someone please tell Fox News that after the way Geraldo Rivera treated whoever the hell that is the other night, we no longer want to see him at all on any Fox News programs. Geraldo is an angry, vile man who is too self-centered to see what's going on, and we don't care about his opinions. Man, that guy loves quotations. Although, he is right about Geraldo Rivera. F*** that guy. God doesn't cancel people. He literally started all of humanity over with a flood. He killed everyone, Omar. Are you stupid? Are you stupid? Real question, my guy. Fact-checking is a euphemism for editorializing, which is a form of censorship, and that's a fact. Oh boy, buddy, buddy, buddy. I read that you're a sociopath who eats puppies, doesn't know what a salad fork is, and only got into Harvard because your dad gave the provost a handy. I guess that I shouldn't check the facts on that, though. <laughs> that would be censorship. The only thing necessary for the triumph of evil is for good men to do nothing. Stop the forced masking of children and educators. I like how y'all always talk about the children, but never actually ask us what we think. We're wearing masks until doctors say we don't have to, not Facebook moms. Bravo to the kids. Just bravo to the kids. Good on you. There's no reason for anyone over the age of 21 to be having a conversation with anyone under the age of 18. For the last time, son, I won't talk to you. I'm sorry, students, but this is the last time I'm going to say this. Stop trying to talk to me. I'm afraid I can't hire you. I cannot speak to you. I would like to tell that kid to get off my lawn, but society's not ready yet. My newborn baby just said its first word, but I'm not trying to hear that. Hello? 911? Help! My parents are in a burning I don't know, kid. You sound a little too young and... I don't know. I'm not really feeling too comfortable with this. Hangs up. I'm so depressed, posted the Caucasian heterosexual cisgender teenage girl on her blog. I'm so depressed, posted the person who's clinically depressed and who cannot help their depression despite their privilege because depression does not exclusively affect certain groups. Haha, <laughs> white girl can't be depressed. <laughs> That's how that works. Kind reminder, the X chromosome contains 1,098 genes. The Y chromosome has only 78. The X chromosome is over five times larger than the Y. It's science. Female are superior, by far. Hence hundreds of years of chauvinism to try to suppress her. Good night. Onions have more DNA than humans. Horribly unprofessional staff. No uniforms. Not family friendly. Poor care for the animals and lack of passion for them. Go anywhere else. Hello, Blank. I'm sorry you felt that way. Oh, we got an owner smackdown. We take great pride in our facility and love our dogs. We do good things in our community. Every staff member at our facility had a dog warden shirt on. If they did not, they were volunteers trying to help out. If you'd like to talk more about what really happened, like you accidentally letting your foster dog loose in our parking lot, not helping get him back to safety, us running around in the pouring rain to make sure he was safe, then saying the dog was untrainable and leaving him at our facility, I'd be happy to talk about it. I can also send you the video and audio if you'd like, in case you forgot what really happened. Thank you, and have a great day. 
If you set aside the dog napping and puppy skinning plots, which are admittedly hard to overlook, Disney's version of Cruella has always been a bit of a feminist fantasy. If you set aside making a suit out of those women, Buffalo Bill from Silence of the Lambs was just a guy trying to achieve his dreams. Holy crap. A woman's idea of let's just be friends is, hey, listen to all my problems and keep me company while I have sex with somebody else. I know, right? My male friends are the same too. They're never down for f***ing. They always just want to play Xbox and watch films and then go back to their misses. Absolute pricks. Wow. That first one, though, <laughs> that's one of the saddest things I've ever seen. Wow, a woman's idea of let's be friends is let's be friends. Crazy to think about, right? Become the most powerful man on Earth. Do absolutely nothing. <clears throat> Become the most powerful man on Earth. See that the country is prospering. See that you're in an era of peace. Don't spend money on military motions that are unneeded. Spend money for welfare, including starting an orphanage for girls. Devote time to raising children meant to be the best possible heirs. 1800 years later, <laughs> I'm not saying that, 4 channers are mad that you didn't do dumb shit. Went to an American restaurant today. Hello, mate. Put forks in my hair to show my love for these Westerners' food. Ha 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 ha. Ah, uh, hashtag, now all of you know how fucking ridiculous you look when you put chopsticks in your hair. Confucius didn't die for white people to put chopsticks in their hair. Confucius? At least learned to spell his name right. Also saw the education of women and women's rights in general as a terrible sin. Hair sticks have been in use for thousands of years and have been found in cultures of the ancient Egyptians, Romans, and Greeks. Although some of these have been jeweled luxury items, such as the gold hair sticks of Egypt, more common wooden hair sticks have also been found in cultures such as Rome, suggesting that they were in wide use amongst people regardless of their financial standing. However, the most influential culture on modern hair sticks has been the Japanese, and in particular the use of decorative Japanese kanzashi. Although many modern hair sticks draw more on the elaborate approach to the design of kanzashi more than on the simpler designs for functional pins, they are used within a far Far more rigid and traditional environment. Kanzashi are frequently floral in design, especially those dictated by the changing of the seasons and used by geisha. Man, all I have to say is I learned a little bit about hair sticks today and uh, get wrecked, you douche. <laughs> I haven't shaved my legs in a really long time, and while I was babysitting, my skirt edged up a bit and the seven-year-old was watching and said, Ew, you should shave, that hair's not supposed to be there. And I said, well, if it's not supposed to be there, then why does it grow there? And he was really silent for a long time and then finally said, Let's watch Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> Tumors grow. Are they supposed to be there? It's called evolution. Just because it's there doesn't mean it's useful or wanted. Local man compares leg hair to cancer. Genuinely thought it was a smart argument. More at six. I genuinely want to hear that more at six. So I'm going to hang around until then, because I would love to see this debate unfold. For real though, imagine being that much of a pussy about a girl having leg hair or armpit hair or, or hair. Weird, right? Today is the anniversary of the Kent State Massacre where protesting students were gunned down by the Ohio National Guard, pictured May 4th, 1970. I'm British, but whenever I read about this event, it blows my mind how this could have happened. Just imagine that they're Irish, and it'll make more sense. <laughs> I never understand how restaurants serve cold or lukewarm food when it's supposed to be hot, especially if food is your only source of income. And then when I told the waitress it was cold, she brought back a different plate that was still cold. I once drafted a RB in fantasy football that got me minus three yards on the season. Some people just suck at what they do. Oh! <laughs> Ooh! So sorry, ver, veer, vi, doesn't matter. You tweet on so many political issues, so I used to take you seriously. But now, I'll take your every tweet as a joke. That's absolutely fine. If you think I'm joking, that means I'm doing my job. If I think you're joking, you're not doing yours. Breaking news. Uber CEO says the company will likely shut down temporarily if a court decides to classify drivers as employees. Uber is admitting their business model depends on exploiting workers and skirting labor law. Always has, baby. That's the way of the Silicon Valley dragons. At least I'm not an idiot. Autistic people. How do you feel about those anti-vaxxers using your illness slash genetic disorder to promote their agenda? Serious. I don't mind it. Being autistic isn't all that bad compared to being an idiot. It's true, and I would know. Person with Asperger's here, there are a few things that anti-vaxxers don't realize. One, people with autism aren't stupid. We may be a little different or see the world differently, but we aren't stupid. 
two, vaccines don't cause autism. And three, your child isn't an idiot because vaccines gave him autism. Your child's a stupid little f because he shares DNA with you, Karen. You, why is my balance so low? Bank account, make coffee at home, eat the food that's already in the fridge. You don't need a cab, it's only three blocks. I guess we'll never know why. Seriously? A bank that pays its CEO $31 million a year and received a $12 billion bailout after crashing our economy tells poor people to stop being so irresponsible with their money. Yeah, that is the most tone deaf shit I have ever seen. Chase, f you. I am of course referring to Chase Bank. Not you, Chase. Don't worry, you're good, dude. I wish people would recognize the death of Jesus Christ as much as they do the death of George Floyd. That's all I have to say. Christian minister here, what's wrong with you? Really, Vernon? What the hell is your problem, my guy? Shut the f*** up. Chicken pox at 8 years and shingles around 38 years. I'm still living. No need to vaccinate. One of my mates got hit by a car and he lived. I guess we don't need any of those road safety laws. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. They don't do anything. Seatbelt? Nah. It baffles me that we have all the information available online to learn anything for free, but you still have to pay $30,000 per year just to hear some professor explain everything so poorly that you end up learning it all from the internet anyways. This motherfucking sub has hundreds of posts where you guys are laughing at someone with no education, getting shut down by someone with a degree in the field. You guys nonstop rip on people who say they did their own research. Now you're siding with this bullshit? Hey, newsflash! Stupidity like that is how we get anti-vaxxers saying they know more than virologists. No, you fuck cannot learn it yourself online. There is a big difference between what you can and should learn on YouTube and what you can and should learn from the people that have spent their lives learning it and practicing it. You wouldn't want to be going down for a life-saving operation and the surgeon is in the middle of watching a tutorial on YouTube on how to do it. Sorry, hold on a second, I gotta skip past this douchebag's intro and then we'll get started. The Flat Earth Society. Another amazing display of creativity, courtesy of Centuri. Yes, just like Lego, Flat Earth is is for children. Um, excuse me? Lego is not for children, motherfucker. I just thought I'd bring that one up. And on that glorious note, we've come to the end of another video, ladies and gents. Before we get going, though, let's take a look at today's fan art. Hi, I've been watching the channel for over a year now, and the last year I made this fan art, but was too nervous to post it, so I forgot about it. Today I found it and decided it was finally time to post. Sorry if it's not good, but I only do pixel art as a side thing. Love to all of the crew. And we love you too, buddy. Also, I'm a sucker for pixel art, so I love this. Unironically, it's like something I would put up in my Minecraft house. Always remember, if you even somewhat enjoyed today's video, consider dropping a like down below. And if you really enjoyed it, well then make sure to get yourself subscribed and click that bell icon. And until next time, I'll catch you later.